Qatar's Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister condemns Israel's continued policy of collective punishment against Palestinians. Next, the 93rd Qatari aid plane for the people of Palestine has arrived in Egypt's El Arish city. Finally, which member of the Qatari government was named one of Time magazine's 100 most influential people of 2024? Watch on to find out. Hey everyone, this is Fakhria for the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. The Qatari Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani, has criticized Israel's continued policy of collective punishment against Palestinians. Israel's indiscriminate bombardment has killed at least 33,899 Palestinians since October 7th. Sheikh Mohammed further took aim at the double standard evident on the world stage regarding the Palestinian issue, adding that negotiations for a ceasefire and captives release deal were at a sensitive phase. Meanwhile, the 93rd Qatari aid plane bound for Gaza has landed in Egypt's El Arish city. The Qatari Armed Forces aircraft contains 26 tons of much-needed assistance for the people of Gaza, who are facing severe levels of hunger and a shortage of necessities due to Israel's war. The aid is part of the Qatar Fund for Development and Qatar Charities Initiative. Since October 16, as per the directive of the Emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani, an air bridge from Qatar to Egypt's Arish has seen the continuous delivery of vital medical aid and foodstuffs. In other news, the Qatari Prime Minister and Foreign Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani's name has been etched in the Time magazine's list of 100 most influential people of 2024. The magazine noted that in his dual leadership role, Sheikh Mohammed has boldly stood at the forefront of negotiation efforts both in the region and beyond and placed the Gulf nation under the global spotlight through its gas industry and the success of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. And that's all we have time for today. Be sure to check out the website or download the app for more information.